Hello everyone, I'm Evan the Juggler. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be learning about the footstall. Now, the footstall is a fantastic trick to learn because not only does it look impressive to everyone watching, but it also teaches you a way to pick up balls without having to bend down. Just like that. So, let's hop right into it. So while learning this trick, you're going to want to get the softest ball you can find. For me, I have a hacky sack. So, what you do is you start out with a hacky sack, and then you slowly move up to a bean bag, like this one here. This is my oldest bean bag, and as you can see, it is quite flat. And then you move up to a slightly newer one, like this one here, which is slightly less flat. <laughs> and then maybe even move up to the hardest bean bag you have. These ones are about two years old now, one and a half, somewhere around there. And these ones here are still kind of hard to do it with. But of course, you definitely probably don't want to use an MMX ball like this one here, one of these silicone stage balls. They are really hard to do this with, but still doable once you get really good. So, now that you have the kind of ball you're going to use, preferably a soft one, let's move on to the tutorial. Okay, time for step one. To cradle a ball, what you do is you lift your toes up just like this. So, step one, get used to lifting just your toes up. Do it about 10 times until you're used to it. And then you're going to grab the softest ball you have and you're just going to place it on your foot right here. And then you're going to lift your toes up again and get used to cradling it and holding it on your foot. Then try a harder ball to see just how it may or may not roll off. Just like this. Oops. So now that you have the softest ball you have cradled on your foot, what you're going to do is you're going to start swinging it back and forth, getting used to how it feels on your foot. This is just to get used to not dropping it as you're holding it. And slowly make the swings bigger and bigger until you get like as far back and as far forward as you can get without it just flying off into space. <laughs> Whew, that is hard on the legs. <laughs> Once you get slightly used to it, as just going straight to one of your hardest balls you got, because that'll really teach you how to do it. Now hopefully, you should be a bit more comfortable cradling the ball on your foot. So with this trick, with the foot stall, there's two parts to it. The dropping of the ball and catching, then the flicking it back up. So first, the flicking up is much easier. So, get it on your foot, and you can either do this one of two ways. You can either swing your foot straight forward in an arc so it comes back to you, or you can kick it up to the side like this. Either way works better in different situations. The first one to learn is the straightforward kick. So all you're going to do is you're just going to start swinging it, and then you're going to essentially kick your leg forward with an almost straight leg, and then at the very end, curl your toes so it comes back to you and not straight up. Make sure you're not around people while you're learning this because you will most likely kick them. With this trick, you want to aim it so it goes slightly above your head and then falls back down into as where a juggling pattern would be. There you go. Next, let's learn the side kick. This one's a little bit harder to grasp and it's, it's surprisingly difficult. So all you're going to do is you're essentially going to bring the ball straight up past your body like this, up and around and over your head essentially. So, you're going to catch it on your foot and you're going to tilt your foot in towards yourself. And then you're going to bring the ball straight up quickly. So you're going to bring it straight up so your heel is to the outside of your hips. Whoop. And then it should follow your foot and go in an arcing pattern over to the opposite hand when you catch it. Then you can start changing your foot orientation so it goes more completely sideways and back. All right, so there are the two ways to throw the ball. Now we have to catch the ball using our foot. The easiest way to catch it is to put your foot forward as if you've done the forward kick, but you're just gonna do it in the opposite direction. So essentially you put your foot out and you bring your knee up and you let the ball fall and you bring your foot down with the ball to slow its descent. So, it looks just like... Not like that. <laughs> so it looks just like this. What you do is you aim for the ball in the cradle of your foot, 
and you bring your foot up to the ball and then down. And you can either go straight to the ground or you can just keep it up and then kick it back up again. Down, up, down, up, down, up, oh no, and down, up. Catching the ball like this takes a really long time to learn because it is surprisingly hard. So <laughs> don't feel discouraged if it's not happening right away. Just keep practicing. And it definitely helps to learn kicking the ball up before you learn catching the ball. Because catching the ball is much, much harder. With softer balls, you can even just stick your foot out and it'll just stay on your foot. But if you have a harder one, like a stage ball, you're definitely going to have to move your foot down with the ball so it doesn't just bounce off your foot. Because if you just keep your foot there, it'll look like this. That's not effective. <laughs> so now, if you put together catching the ball and then kicking the ball back up, you've got the trick. Now to make it even prettier. So, to make it the prettiest it is, for me at least, what you do is you incorporate catching it and then the side kick up, like this here. So together, the ball never stops its motion. And to do that, just as you catch the ball, you bring it towards yourself, down, and then into the side kick. And that's all there is to it. Just keep on practicing. Now, let's learn how to pick up a ball using only your feet. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take the ball with your left foot, you're going to push it onto your right, give it a little squish, cradle the ball, and then kick it up. So, it looks like this. And that's all there is to it. So, essentially, what I find works is you take the ball and you push it with the bottom of your foot. So get used to that. You bring it slightly above where the cradle is, and then you just push it back down onto it. Just like that. One, two, and up. One, two, and up. <laughs> so this is definitely a good way to preserve your energy while learning new tricks because bending down takes much more energy than just kicking the ball up like this. And of course, learn how to do it on the other side too, so you're not lopsided. I'm still not as good on this side, sadly, but practice is always good. And there you have it. At that point, you should be able to kick up a ball all by yourself. Yeah! <laughs> so, there you have it. There are two ways to kick up a ball, one way to catch it, and one way to pick up a ball using only your feet. So hopefully you found these tips useful, learning foot stalls and all kinds of cool stuff like that, and you can incorporate it into your own juggling sometime in the future. So with that, we've arrived at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Of course, if you enjoyed, you can even click right here for some other really cool juggling-related content. Or of course, if that's not enough, you can even click down below and follow me on Instagram or like my Facebook page. And with that, thanks for watching.